Hello, good morning. Welcome to Light Embassy, taking his glory to the ends of the world. This morning's message is captioned, The God That Sees Thee. The God That Sees Thee. And our team scripture is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 16, verse 13. I'm reading from the KJV version. And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou God seest me. For she said, Have I also here looked after him that seest me? No matter the problem you may be going through, no matter the case at hand, know that there is the God that seest thee. He is not like the idols of the pagans, who have eyes but can't see, ears but can't hear, and mouth but can't talk. He is the God who has no equal, the God who sees thee. Hagar the Egyptian, Sarah's maid, had fled from her mistress and probably didn't know where to find solace. When by a fountain of water in the wilderness, God talked to her. She wondered why God would come to her, so she called God, the God that seeth me. Yes, he is the God that seeth thee. No matter where you find yourself, the issue at hand, know that you are not alone. Yes, you are not alone. Sometimes when people go through troubles, especially Christians, many think that God doesn't care. No, God cares. God cares. And that's why he says that cast your cares upon me, for he cared for you. You see, God cares for you. God cares for you. He says, cast your cares upon for me, for I care for you. God cares. Always have in mind that you have someone who cares for you. He cares. He cares. If evil people can even care for others, how much God who is love. All he wants from us is an acknowledgement, being conscious of him and accepting the truth that he cares. Paul says that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Loved ones may have dejected you. No one may seem to care, but God cares. The God that sees thee cares. He sees you to do something about the situation. Glory be to God. He is not like the little devil who has to go around seeking after people. No, my God is everywhere at the same time. He is the God that sees thee. All you need to do is to acknowledge him, he says. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 6, KJV. You may not be a Christian and reading this devotional. Give your life to Jesus, for he cares. If you are a Christian and has gone far from the Lord, be restored back to him. Be always conscious of the fact that there is a God who sees thee. He is in you and with you. Never live life as if you have nobody. You have the God that sees thee. Your mother, father, and siblings may not see you every second of the day, but since you were born, God's eyes have never been of you. See, this is the God we are talking about this morning. When you have him, you have everything. Always remember that God sees thee. See, some may say that, oh, we have the president as our friend. We have the minister as our friend. We have the CEO as our uncle. We have so and so as our mother, as our father, as our brother. But who do you have? You see, and many times there are some people who will just look at people around them and say that we have no one. Oh, if you're a Christian and you think like that, it's not right. It's not right. It's ignorance, you see. Sometimes when many Christians think like that, they think that uh, having pity about themselves uh, will cause God to be sympathetic over them. That's not how it works. 
is to be a Christian who will be more conscious of God than even human beings. He is the God that God is looking towards to. Are you the Christian who is more conscious of God than your father? Are you the Christian who is more conscious of God than that CEO? Are you the Christian who is more conscious of God? You see, all those other people that you, your father, your mother, or whatever, they are just people brought into your life to bring something called divine access. Right? <laughs> but it it, 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 go, it all goes back to God. Right? So, when you have the great monarch of the universe, how can you think low of yourself? Or think you have no one? And that's why always you have to live with that conscious and that renewal of mind that you have the greater one as your father. The God who sees thee and is in you and with you is the great monarch of the universe, the judge of the Supreme Court of this universe. And he's for you. And when you live your life with that consciousness, no matter the problem that you find yourself in, you will not drown. You will come out of it. Just believe and be fully persuaded, like Paul will call it, a most certain confidence. See, full assurance. Be fully persuaded, completely convinced about that. And live life with that attitude, with that composure. And all will come true well for you. May God bless you this week in everything that you do. In Jesus' name.